In the district of Meerut in Uttar Pradesh, Jwalagarh is a village that is hard to find even on Google Maps. It is situated away from the highway that leads people and cars escaping from the heat of the plains to the mountains of Garhwal in Uttarakhand. Here in Jwalagarh, it is not the cool breeze from the snow-clad peaks that relieves one from the scorching temperatures. It is the shade of the mango trees, the naturally cooled water from the tube well, and the pulp of the mango that is chilled in a bucket filled with the same water. Lie on a takhat, pick up mangoes fallen fresh from a tree a minute ago, pulp it up, suck out the sweet as nectar mango juice, take a nap, and then wake up to a tap sound of another mango falling down, ripened by nature just for you. ये लोग तो कमर्शियल सेलिंग के लिए ये लोग आम दे डोंट वेट फॉर इट टू फॉल अपने आप से पक के गिरे तो ये लोग डरते हैं कि पक के गिरने में वो फट सकता है और थोड़ा ब्रूज हो सकता है तो उसकी कमर्शियल वैल्यू कम हो जाती है ब्रूज होने से तो जब बिल्कुल पकने लायक दिखाई देता है कि पकने लायक हो गया है तो ये लोग अपने आप एक लगी जैसी बनाते हैं उसमें वो एक नेट सी लगाते हैं डंडे से ऐसे तोड़ के अंधे ले लेते हैं और उसको वो फिर पाल लगा के और पकाते हैं तो जब वो पाल लगा के पकाते हैं तो आम जो है वो बाहर आउटर स्किन से अंदर को पकना शुरू होता है और जब अपने आप से नेचुरल वे में पेड़ पे पकता है तो वो गुठली की तरफ से अंदर से पकना शुरू होता है और धीरे 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 पकता पकता बाहर तक आता है तो एक फ्रेंड्स थे उनको हमने नेचुरली राइपन फ्रूट दिए तो उन्हें समझ नहीं आया तो उन्होंने जब काटा तो वो अंदर से तो ज़्यादा मुशीसा गुठली के पास मुशीसा यू नो काइंड ऑफ राइप और ऊपर से स्लाइटली हार्ड बोले अरे अरविंद आपने तो इस बार थोड़ा आम आपके अंदर से थोड़ा खराब होने शुरू हो गए सड़ने से शुरू हो गए थे तो इधर नहीं वो सड़ने नहीं वो बेस्ट आम है वो अंदर से पकना शुरू हुआ था अंदर से बाहर को पकता है Arvind Singh inherited from his ancestors a mango orchard in Jwalagarh. He and his wife Rashmi maintain the orchard which is split into two sections, each given to a contractor for a period of 2 years. This year because of the temperature going up before time and the loo blowing early, their mangoes ripened before they could grow to their regular large sizes. So they had a harvest of ripe mangoes that were smaller in size but large in number. The contractor of the smaller of the two segments of the orchard spotted 10 to 14 mangoes on a single branch on many trees this season. They don't talk about mangoes here in kilos but quintals that is 100 kilos. Even though most of the mangoes had already fallen or been plucked out when we reached the orchard there was probably still a quintal or two left up on the trees remaining there for the last 2 days of the harvest season. Water from 100 meters below the ground quenches the thirst of the land. Irrigation lines run through the wide expanse of this mango orchard, measuring about 500 bigas of land. All the water comes from the underground reserve, and after having nurtured the trees, it seeps back to recharge this very aquifer. The orchard welcomes cows, dogs, egrets, crows, spiders, earthworms, caterpillars and many such animals, birds and insects. Everyone is sustained here. As Basanti rides over untended land, unraveling the soil beneath, Her claws remove the weeds from their roots and the ground is aired. Meanwhile, egrets and crows, friends of Basanti, come out of hiding and follow her wherever she goes. Basanti is the tractor fondly named thus by Bhagat Singh, the contractor of the larger segment. As she plows the land, earthworms are exposed from within the ground and the birds feed on them.
During the months when there are no fruits or flowers on the trees, the orchard is tended, meticulously prepared for the next year's crop. Since the orchard is a few generations old, the trees need to be pruned once in a while. Also, there is an overgrowth of grass and weeds, which needs to be taken out by people and tractors. This can happen any time of the year. The owners do not believe in spraying chemicals for a better yield, so their orchard remains in a natural state or raw. Then, when the first bore or blossom comes out, the quality of harvest is predicted for the season. As the fruit starts to grow, it is then up to the weather. When the mangoes are ready for harvest, the contractors hire extended family members to do the various jobs that need to be done. One cannot spot a ladder or a rope, but there are men 30 feet above the ground, sitting on branches of mango trees. With a long stick designed for the purpose, they break the mangoes off and the fruit covers the ground. Then more men come to pick them up and put them in crates. Another set of men and a horse arrive later to carry the crates away. Since there is so much produce, the owners keep some mangoes for family and some for themselves. Some mangoes are eaten in their ripe state, but many raw mangoes are used in various recipes, pickled and preserved. These days we are having an overdose of mangoes. <laughs> as, as always, as every year. When it falls down, it falls down. 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 कच्चे आम की खटाई सुखाई जाती है कच्चे आम की आई थिंक पीसियों तरह की चटनियां हैं जो बनती हैं हमारे यहां आम प्याज हरी मिर्च आम विद गुड़ आम विद चीनी आ, आम विद पुदीना आम की यू नो ग्रेटेड ग्रेट करके चटनी हींग मिर्च एंड आम आम विद मसाला आम विद चनाज आम I don't know how many times. <laughs> the mangoes then last till the next mango harvest takes place, so the owners of the orchard wouldn't have a single day in the year without mangoes in their house. Mrs. Singh recounts old times during mango seasons, and here are a few instances she narrated to us. No, ma'am, I have to say that. कि जब मेरे हस्बैंड के ग्रैंडफादर जिंदा थे तो कम से कम दो तीन आम पार्टीज करते थे और आम पार्टीज इस तरह की होती थी कि उस उस दिन कुछ नहीं बनता था सिर्फ आम और दूध आम और दूध मतलब कुछ दूसरी चीज नहीं होती थी तो एक दिन वो जैसे यू नो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टाइप के लोगों के लिए करते थे तो वहां मेन घर की बैठक पे um, you know the DM, the SSP, the collector commissioner, this type of people, or or officials, officials, all of them were called. And the arm, the arm, the arm, the arm. In between, four sides were filled with arms. And in between, in the tub, the arm, 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 के आम के बाग में भाग जाओ चढ़ जाओ पेड़ पे जिसको जौन सा चाहिए खाओ मतलब और सब बच्चों से ये कहा जाता था जिसको जितने दोस्त बुलाने बुला लो तो मतलब इट वाज एन एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली अ वेरी लार्ज फैमिली विद अ लॉट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन एंड देयर लॉट्स ऑफ फ्रेंड्स यूज्ड टू कम आई मीन एवरी फ्रेंड दैट दे कुड पॉसिबली थिंक ऑफ दिस टू इनवाइट 